And now I have a conversation cloud widget. Let me make that a little bigger, sort of. Okay, now when you look at these things, you're going to have to use uh, some smarts about this. Shockingly, Ice Cream, Jerry, and Hagen come up huge. Well, none of that... Really says much. Right. And, you know, that's like cold. Great. However, it's kind of interesting to look at some of these things, like love. If I am worrying about con how consumers feel about it, what are some keywords that pop? I could click on love. And I get another and box. And I have a whole bunch of options. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I want to look at some of the, uh, I want to look at the topic trends in that, or I want to look at the river of news in that and see what the heck is going on. Love's a pretty powerful word. And people feel pretty passionately about ice cream, or what are they, what a house uh, of relayed? Ben oh. and Jerry's red velvet cake ice cream is the new love of my life. Okay, so like Lots of red velvet cake trending here. Love, I love it. So do you love haagen ice cream? Secret Affairs with Ben and Jerry, I totally love, you know, these are uh, fun things to think about. And um, it might make you think creatively when you develop your creative strategy. I'm opening the top ten, sorry. Uh, of course, we have Robert Pattinson, number one, the best ice cream flavors. Wow, what's that about? Maybe I want to open this up. The best ice cream flavors for summer, our editors pick. So let's go to the source and see where that came from. Up, oh, shocking, Huffington Post. The best ice cream flavors. And then, of course, they, have, they even have a little slideshow, which could be interesting, but we're not going to go through now. But obviously, if I were in your shoes, this would be great information to start seeking out. Yeah, Mexican chili chocolate ice cream. All about it. Okay, good. So remember, you can click on any word, and you can see the river of news, topic trends, conversation cloud, media type. So take time with this and save the things you find that are interesting. And again, go back to your worksheet and answer the questions. What words are popping? Why? Where? In what context? With who? So you can start making some inferences. And remember, we just went through one word, love. But I might want to go through some other words here, too. Obviously, I see Greek. I don't know what that's about. I might want to look it up. Um, Cake, I'm assuming it might be a flavor. I don't know, but I want to start exploring some of these words to see just exactly what's going on. Uh, the whole trend with yogurt, there's a bunch of things, and obviously red velvet we already saw. Okay, good. River of News. So I'm going to get rid of this widget because we just explored it. Yes, delete. Um, let's go to River of News. Okay, so we've been playing with this a little bit already. I like River of News because um, not only do you see what was said, but you get a little look at who's saying it. And, uh, and we could find out if they're influencers or not, just by, again, Peg mentioned this earlier, but in the right column, following, followers, updates. So if someone has um, a ton of followers, sometimes I like to just open them up and see who they are. And it gives me an idea of, like, this person has 725 followers. Okay, fine, but let's see what else I could find. Ooh. What is this guy? And remember, now how do I want, if I want to know about him, I could just hit this and it will give me a profile summary of who he is. Helping communication and PR pros maximize media relation results through planning, monitoring, and measure, measurement services. Okay, he lives in New Jersey. Looking for a job there? No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> okay, but the other thing that's nice about this is you, just like Kevin says, Look at likes, look at votes, check the source detail like he's doing right now. What is trending by whom and where, right? Ben What's and Jerry's asked you if you want to spoon with Facebook friends, and I could look at that too and see what pops up here. Um, and obviously, I'd want to understand this more. Um, obviously, it's a, I'm not going to go through it now, but it talks about some applications on Facebook, and there must be a new app that sources users' friends' profiles. Um, with for Ben and Jerry's. Right, so interesting. and that's so fun because we, we've just been looking at the love and you can see that ice cream is about love and little secret dirty passions and all kinds of things. So creatively, I'm kind of starting to get where how they came up with this. Right, exactly. And then look, there's a little video you can watch too. 
on Wana Spooning. Okay, I'm done with that for now. I'm going to get rid of this for now. Go back to our dashboard. But you get the point, right? You have to dig through this. It's just not going to pop up. It's going to take some time. But this is your job. So I'm going to get rid of the River of News.